Hello YouTube, it's the casual dude here bringing a very unique review for you guys. So what I have right here is a box of food. Where was this box of food from? Well, this box of food is from a food truck here in Philly that has no name, no menu, no prices, nothing. It's literally a food truck with nothing on it, no signs, no nothing and a guy cooking food. Essentially, what you do is you give the guy $10, he makes you whatever the hell he wants to make you, and then he gives you a box of food. That's it, you can't ask for anything specific. Um, you can't ask for two of these, he'll tell you to get back in line to order another one. Um, you you can, I think, ask for vegetarian, as this is this is, has some meat in it and stuff, and, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, this was $10. Usually food trucks are about five to $10. So this is on the pricier side of food trucks. However, this box is so heavy. There's no way I'm eating all of this. This is definitely two meals. Um, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's really cool seeing him, this guy in there, make whatever he wants. It, each dish, I saw people in front of me who were getting different things. He kind of just takes whatever he wants to take, uh, puts that together, cooks that. Um, it's very interesting to watch. Uh, I did watch a woman ask for two in front of me. She wanted two of these, and he kind of went off and ranted. Uh, very similar to the soup Nazi uh, in Seinfeld. Um, but yeah, that's all you do, and I'm going to give you guys a quick review of the food. Before that, we're going to take a look at this. Um, if you're interested in coming here, this is about on 20th and Ludlow Street. Uh, 20th and Ludlow, pretty much right in Center City uh, to come to this place. Um, you, they, he does not give you utensils. This is all you get. There's no utensils. There's no bag. You need to bring your own utensils or maybe what I did, there's a Starbucks right here. I went inside, I asked for uh, a fork and they knew exactly what I, or why I was coming there. They said, oh, the food truck. Um, so they must get people all the time going there. So I'd say the Starbucks is your go-to if you're going to come here and get this mystery box of food. Um, Lastly, if you want to look up the place online, uh, like pictures and whatnot, it is called, uh, unofficially called, the Octopus Food Truck. Octopus Food Truck. I have no idea why it's called that. Uh, it's it's unclaimed on Yelp, so clearly this guy doesn't give a shit if people are calling it the Octopus Food Truck. That's not what he calls it. Um, I don't know. Maybe somebody just decided to give it a name so you can find it and look up pictures and reviews. But we're going to take a look now what this looks like. It's massive. It's a massive tray of food. So what we have in there looks like it's falafel, chicken, peppers, rice, cauliflower as well. So it's full of veggies, it's full of fresh, you know, grilled food. There's nothing in here that really screams unhealthy in, or any, in any way, shape or form. Um, and we're gonna try it to give it a little bit of a review taste test for this food here. So I get the fork. And everything looks delicious. It smells amazing when you walk by this food truck. Um, it's just, I knew I was here because the smells were crazy. Um, the woman who was in front of me, she just, she didn't even know anything about this place. That's kind of why she asked for two. You're really, it's a no, no. The guy will just go on a rant if you ask for two or pretty much if you ask anything at all. Um, like right now, my girlfriend's getting hers right now um, because we, we couldn't, we, we had to drive here. We couldn't, uh, Staying there together. I couldn't ask for two because it's not gonna happen. You know, we just have to work this out on our own but uh, in our own way But yeah, and I'm actually excited to see what hers looks like if she gets here I mean, I probably she probably won't be back here because it's, it's about five minutes per person in line There's about four people in line. So she's probably gonna be waiting for 20 minutes um, Otherwise, I would show you how hers is different which maybe I'll cut a video together and show hers if I can I'll try um, And it's very clean Pretty much after he makes each meal, he cleans the whole area. Totally cleans it. So he's a very clean person. But anyway, let's get to the review. It looks like there's potatoes in here too. Let's start out with the rice. Kind of want to try everything individually first. Just go with the rice first. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Tastes very clean, the rice. Very, very light. Incredibly light. He uses this yellow sauce that he puts on everything as well. You go for the chicken now. Got the chicken order. 
Mm. Mm. That's really, 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 really good chicken. Grilled to perfection, this chicken here. Get it focused. It's chewy, a lot of flavor. Mm. Not dry at all. I feel like a, um, a dish like this could could be dry when you're just doing grilled chicken, rice, and some veggies. Not at all. Looks like we got, I'm not sure what that would be, what we would call that. Is that zucchini maybe or squash? Delicious. Spinach. I love spinach. Very good. There's peas in here too. Kind of like you'll just, as you go through here, it's kind of fun because you're going to discover something different. You know, like a potato, random. There's one, I don't see any other potatoes. One potato in here. Mmm. Damn, I hope there's more potatoes. Because that potato was like the best thing in here so far, believe it or not. Um, I'm, I've been saving the falafel. I love falafels. Let's go for a falafel. Mmm. That falafel. Really, really good. And this all tastes fresh and light, not heavy. And it's a huge amount. Ten dollars. This is probably two meals quite easily. Big thing of cauliflower here as well. Take a little bite of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's delicious. Everything is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend coming here for sure. It seems like a, not not just you know a place to eat, but an experience. Um, I would recommend if you come here, just give the guy ten dollars and go, because he he will if you say something or talk. He's not mean or rude or anything, but he's just going to keep talking and talking and talking. And what honestly what it does is it holds up the line. And he doesn't seem to really care. Um, his food's amazing. People go for his food. And like when the lady asked for two, people who were already there were kind of looking at her like, be quiet, you know, just let him cook. Let him get us our food. Because he only works here, I'm told, for two hours of the day. That's it. His hours are 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. That's it. That might sound crazy, but it's the truth. He's here for two hours. And yet he still has lines. People go here. But he definitely doesn't do it for the money. Because if he was, why would he only work for two hours in Center City? You know, work, work all day. Make more money. He definitely does it for a passion. And I've noticed he has flowers all around his truck. So I kind of wonder if something you know, sad happened in his life or something. And maybe he does this, um, maybe as a tribute to someone, maybe he lost or something. I don't know. I'm, I just kind of get those vibes from him a little bit, especially with the flowers all there. Like the, the car is decorated with flowers, very nice flowers as well. Um, but yeah, this was delicious. I'm going to keep eating. Oh, there's grapes in here too. Random grapes, random stuff. But here we go. Take a final look at this. I'm very excited to see what my girlfriend's platter looks like. Um, to try hers as well. She is vegetarian, so uh, she is going to ask for a vegetarian. I do believe that I'm told that he'll honor that and make vegetarian. I told her, why not? Just ask. He's not going to. And if he says no, he says no. I'll, I eat the meat out of there. But. Um, we will see, but would highly recommend the octopus food truck in Center City. Um, I will be back here. I don't live too far from here. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, it's just a little bit of a wait. I think if you get here and you see seven people online, it's probably not worth it to wait. You might be waiting about probably 45 minutes. Yeah, it's about five minutes per, per person at least. So... Uh, yeah, this is one of the best. I've eaten at so many food trucks in the city, and I would uh, put this 
easily at the at the top in the top percentage. I don't know if it's it's not. I don't know if it's my number one food truck. That might still be uh, Cucina Zapata, but it's it's incredible and it's a great experience. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, uh, like, comment if you've been there or if you have any questions about the food. So talk to you later, guys. Bye.